discrimination was quite a big part of my life at school. I didn't really have anyone I could go to. You don't really want to go to a teacher because there's no teacher that looks like you that you feel like will understand what you're going to say. Obviously in schools now, I'm starting to see a real, real difference. At the end of the day, the sooner children uh, talk about these things, uh, you know, the better it can be. So we hope in these films, uh, it gets a glimpse of what these students are doing, um, pushing for that and striving for a better change. Equality means to me like giving everyone a right because everyone like has a right and everyone deserves to be able to express themselves whether they're like black, white, like part of the LGBTQ community or any of that. So to me uh, equality means uh, to be for equally uh, no matter who you are, no matter what you've gone through, you should be treated the exact same. At Ralph Allen, we have an e-team or equality team. We're student-led, but we work closely with teachers and leadership boards to ensure change around the school. Uh, this takes place in changes to school policy, for example, or actual physical changes to the school site, such as a diversity board that we're setting up in the outdoor classroom. During Black History Month in dance, we watched a piece created by Diversity. Then we split off into groups and created our own piece of dance. It was really fun as I got to express my thoughts and feelings about racism in society today just by through a piece of dance. This is a month where we celebrate black people and what they've done in the past and even some people what they've done in the present. So people who've done stuff in the present is like Stormzy, he stands up for black people and what we can accomplish and then you've got people like Mary Seacole who helped us get like a bit of a more place in where we are today. And we've been learning in Tutor about how people with different ethnicities have changed the world we live in today. Martin Luther King for example has been inspirational and given people all across the world dreams and hopes that helped shape the world we live in today. Firstly we looked at Heidi Selassie who was an emperor in Bath who came from Ethiopia. And then we also looked at unconscious biases, which sort of helped us to kind of recognise the subconscious decisions we're making without even realising it, and to sort of become more open to change. In Jara, we watched a play about how black people got treated and where they came from. We had a small discussion after thinking how it made us feel. And in our PB lessons, we've been learning about the Black Lives Matter movement and how today people are being still discriminated against and racially abused for the colour of their skin or their ethnicity. In our community, there is, it's a predominantly white basis. So we feel that in our history lessons, we should teach kids to empathise with ethnic and black minorities. This helps us walk a mile in their own shoes so we can stop them being abused and racially discriminated within our community. So Donovan, are there any role models at the Mendip Studio School for you? Yeah, um, there's my teacher, Keys McSace. He's definitely a role model because he talks openly about his experiences with racism and other things. And I think there needs to be more mixed race teachers, in, not just in Mendip, just in teachers in general. Because um, usually the mixed race teachers are more open about racism than the white teachers. Because I think they've had more experiences with racism because they're mixed and whereas most white teachers don't have that experience they're just kind of going off what they researched not personal experiences in year seven we have learned about all types of bullying and how they can have a really big effect on people we are all working together to stop it and, and we also all know to tell a trusted adult or teacher we're learning about how to speak out against discrimination and racism in all its forms and that you can always tell a teacher or staff member about the issues that are currently happening. This is a student-led project that began in 2018 when the school's equalities team was attempting to create an anti-bullying charter. From this blossomed the Pledge of Respect. To commemorate this pledge, we decided to put it up in the main corridors so students and teachers could see the commitment they have made throughout their daily lives at school. I think the Pledge of Respect is going to decrease the levels of racism we see throughout the school. I believe this will have a real big impact on mental health, as if people are feeling discriminated against and judged, they won't want to be who they feel they want to be. 
Last year, we showed our commitment as a community by inviting everyone to sign the pledge, everyone in the school, and as well as outside of school, which consisted of black families, boys in mind, and a, a local policeman. Diversity in the curriculum is really important. It creates an open mind and it's just really important to know the foundations of racism. Diversity has always been important, but especially in light of the current world injustices, it's great to put an extra emphasis on making it relevant and ensuring that people are having needed conversations. And like, I feel like the school is really open to like ideas and like really just open to people in general. And like just lets us like express our feelings. Our schoolhouse Pulteney is named after William Pulteney, who was a slave owner. They decided to take immediate action by writing an open letter to our head teacher, which any student could sign. Promptly, our houses were set to change to mythical creatures instead of places in Bath. Outside of our French block, we have a small painting that represents a white heart and a black heart coming together, with small hands rising up to it, saying what we want to achieve. Our school also named our new maths block after Catherine Johnson, a black mathematician who worked for NASA. Hey, so is having the opportunity to be part of the select committee and it's really exciting. We're really grateful for this, for this opportunity. Not only does it feel like our voices are actually being listened to, but we are making sure that we strive for greater change. We know that combating these issues is a long and slow process and it isn't easy. And change is slow, it takes time, but we believe that the younger generation can be our change and they can make way for a more inclusive, equal and accepting future for us all.